Hey there, today I wanna to talk to you guys about designing a PCB board. I recently, just recently, uh, forced myself to sit down and learn the program, right? I mean, learning to, to make a PCB board, there's there's many aspects of it. Uh, I, I understand the concepts of it for a long time, I just didn't know how to operate the, the program. And there's several programs, uh, I'm going to show you how to use one today, or how, you know, my basic, skills that I picked up uh, on a free one that you can get uh, on the internet, right? And here is the first PCB that I designed. I just got it. So first, let's see how, uh, what it is, what it does on the program. And then I'll show you uh, me populating it and the changes, because obviously uh, this, this is the prototype that I got, right? And the sample and I see some changes that I wanna make right away, right? It's almost like, it's not the same as seeing it in the program than seeing it right in front of you, you know? And then once you see it there, then you can do the changes. But let's look at the program here. All right, so the program you need to get, it's called Easy EDA, uh, and you can download it, and it's available for Mac and PC. Obviously, I'm on a Mac here, and that's why I like it because, well, I can use it, right? Um, there's many ways to draw a PCB, right? A printed circuit board. You could start, probably this is the best way and that's why you have to do it this way. You just start dumping components in here. And the way you have to do it is you have to go and look at them at like, uh, from a library, right? So like, let's say that you want an XT60, for example, connector, right? Uh, well, there you go, it loads them up and it gives you the thing. Um, yeah, so then what do you do, cancel? And then, so here's the XT60. Then you just, you place components on here, like if you need two of them or something, Right, and here are XT90s, for example, so then you clear that. And then what you can do is you can then tell it to connect those. So when you start here, wire, right? So you, I guess, here, you click here, from here to there, and now, and then uh, whatever, you stop it there. Oh, didn't, didn't keep it. Okay, so what if you go like this, boom. Like that? There we go. So you just you just connected that one to that one, right? Uh, so you basically start designing this electrically. And then once you do that, then you just tell it to go and show you the mechanical part of it, right? But usually because these are, you know, printed circuit boards, mechanically it doesn't matter that much, you know, where they're gonna be. Now for, this is probably the best way to do it. I, I still have a lot to learn in this doing this way, so I really can't show you. What I instead did was, for example, you go, there's another way, right? Because you can design a schematic or a PCB. And then I just start with the PCB and then you just start with uh, the dimensions, for example. So the width, it's 100 by 100 millimeters, uh, rectangular. Uh, does it tell you where's the board outline, the width, the height? Oh, round rectangular, let's see. So you can also t tell it to do like a radius, right? So let's apply that, let's see what that looks like. Okay, so yeah, so that's just a little thing here. And then uh, it's just so that you can see that grid, it's a little bit, uh, there we go, right? So then here are the tools you can move that stuff around. So this is another way you can actually start designing this way. Oh, did I grab it? Let's see. So if I click on it here, yeah. So here you go. So you can place like a component here, for example, and then you can put a component here, and then you clear that. And then right away, you can just do the thing. And here is your circuit board, right? Of course, it doesn't have anything. It doesn't have any connections between there, but then you could also do that here. But see, this is a slightly different because what you're doing here, you starting slightly different. 
you do, let's say that you do 45 and then you connect that there. And let's say you wanna connect this one here, also a 45 and then uh, you do that, you know. Then you can look at it over here as a 3D or a 2D and here you go. You have tiny, tiny little traces that are going in here. Those are probably not going to work because these are, you know, power connectors, right? So th those are not gonna be able to carry a lot of power. Those are more like signal lines. But of course you can come in here and uh, you can click on them and then you could, you could adjust the width, for example. So let's say you wanted three millimeters on that one right there. And now all of a sudden, now you just made a, a bigger, you know, trace. Now, let's say that you wanted to do, uh, you click over here in all the uh, layers, and this is the top layer. Let's say that you wanna do one on the bottom layer and you just wanted an entire pad of copper, you know, to cover the entire thing. Well, actually this one, you could do shapes, right? So let's say that you wanted to stay here. Of course, you sometimes you wanna stay away from those pads so that they don't uh... right so now you got those two pads that are running or those two traces that are running on this side but on the back side now you got this pad that it's all copper and you can start designing your board this way you know mechanically you know positioning your things you could make holes you can put biases right or bias I think that's what they're called, BS. These ones are connected on one side to the other side. If you have several of those, you can put text. So anyways, this is very quickly, very easily, you know, you, it's very intuitive. You just start looking around, poking around, and then you can get to build a PCB. This is the PCB that I decided, uh, don't save here. So this is the one that I decided. The very first one that I got is this guy right here. So what this board is, it's a power strip, right? A DC power strip. It just basically has two lines in here. You see those pads right here, right? So this is the positive side, this is the negative side, and then we have holes there. And that's essentially what I made here. And then this is for the Arduino, and then the DC to DC. And what this is gonna allow me to do is make, uh, connect 10 of those scooter batteries and then have the logic in here to spit out that, that, that digital key so they can stay on, right? And then this will combine all of them. Then I'll obviously we'll put some big connectors in here like XT90s so we can connect further down more or we can put like a big, big connector in there. I'm probably gonna do one here and then, yeah. So this still needs a little bit of refining the design, right? Like this, it, this, this, this wasn't needed here. I thought for some reason I need, so I need to do that. Probably need to make it wider. I know I'll need to make these holes bigger because those are, well, they're too small and I won't be able to put the screws that I want on there, right? Uh, also things like this, right? These are a bit too big. I would want to make those holes slightly smaller because they're, yeah, for some reason, well, they're not too bad. Yeah, there's too much, a little too much play. So then what you end up doing is like putting them crooked. And you know, if I can fix that, you just gotta tweak it. Tweak, tweak, tweak. Because if I'm gonna make a bunch of these, then you wanna make it right, right? So now that you, I gone, you know, quickly on how to design this PCB and how to get it on here. Uh, oh yeah, well, let's, let's actually go through it, right? So what you end up doing is after you have it, and you scrutinize it and you looked at it and you think you got it, but you probably don't, right? Like this, like you got these holes too big and the other holes just, you won't be able to see that until you actually get it in on your hand. Then you, a lot of the stuff becomes apparent. But after you think you got it, then what you do is you click over here and then it says uh, a bunch of checks here. I just click no on all those, but you, there's a good idea maybe that you should do it, right? Uh, so then you generate a Gerber file. And then that Gerber file is the one that you then go and upload into any other PCB making um, houses. This ECDA is tied in with JLC PCB, which is the house that I, uh, the shop that I use to do my PCB. So then 
Uh, I tried doing this and it didn't work. So I just, you know, generated the Gerber, downloaded into my, um, into my desktop and then I submitted it through the thing and that's how I was able to, to get it, right? So here's the final version that I submitted a few days ago and then here's PCB. So now let's put this together. I, I'm going to populate it and then see if I got everything right. Uh, probably not. There's probably going to be some mistakes. Uh, maybe all these pads are shorted out, but I don't think so because these this is separated, you know, by the middle. So it's kind of hard to make some mistake where you short everything out here. But you never know. Let's put it together. Let's see if it works. Right, so here we go. I just finished uh, populating this one. It seems to be working. I did some tests and they are uh, waking up these batteries here. The thing that I am uh, trying to figure out here is how to make this better so that you can use it um, in a power wall setup, right? So this one, you know, you, I put 10 of these ports or the ability to soldered about these 10 of these uh connectors here right but then these are really stiff and you know i'm trying to put them in a box sort of like this and so there's not a lot of room i mean this is, should be enough room to have this connector go and bend like that right so i think what we're gonna have to do is like put them sideways so that these can go sort of something like that they can turn and then they can go straight into that um, and not straight down because then it requires this much space to go across, right? And you can't really bend, they're, like, they're so hard and they would have so much pressure, so much pressure that even some of these start breaking. See it here, like sort of that one there, right? Um, so the other thing is that maybe these should only have maybe like four or five of these instead of these 10, right? Because see how these ones, I'm not using them. This setup would work, I guess, if I had batteries on the other side, right? And so I'm gonna have to keep playing with the form factor of this uh, PCB here, right? But we got the basic structure down, I think, right? It's an Arduino, a DC to DC, right? To operate the Arduino and then having all this stuff connected in parallel so that you can you can then use it. So, and once I nail the design, then I can, I can order or sample boards and then populate them and then start doing tests and see, um, you know, how hot they get, you know, according to these traces. So I might have to double up these or maybe make them like four layers and put two ounce uh, copper. I, th this, I think that's what these are, two ounce copper, but then four layers of two ounce copper, maybe they're gonna be able to do, cause I mean, these can do 25 amps each, right? So, I mean, four of these can do a hundred amps. And I don't know what applications you guys are all gonna be using these and stuff, but they have to be, have a rating and stuff. Uh, and they should be able to work with a bunch of you guys that are building different things with these. And so if these can put out 100 amps, then this should be able to handle 100 amps, right? And so I'm going to have to do enough uh, structure in there to, to be able to handle 100 amps without, you know, melting, the, getting too hot and melting everything in there. So, so that's how this sort of stuff works. I am in the uh, design stages of that. Um, I will make these available pretty soon as soon as I can nail down a, a final design that I like. I'm still waiting for these connectors, right? These are coming from China. Uh, these ones right here, I'm just grabbing them from the batteries that are around here. So they're all, there's different brands. See, there's this one's different than this one. Uh, some of them, like the cables are very stiff and some of them are, you know, a little bit more flexible. These, these are kind of flexible. These are not, 
Um, I'm hoping that once we get the ones from China, then we know what we're working with. We know the exact gauge um, and that sort of stuff, right? So there's a ton of work that goes into designing even a simple product like this, right? And so that's what I'm the day-to-day, -day, right? I have uh, several of these projects that I am designing at the same time. Uh, and so that's why maybe you don't see me online so much and then, you know, the whole thing. But rest assured, we're doing stuff. Uh, the dongle is also, I'm going to be engineering one so that people just want to use a single battery pack for like an e-bike or something. It's going to be a very, very compact unit sort of like this, right? But very easily, f easy for us to, you know, build it and then sell it. Uh, or and give you a kit so that you can you know put it together also um, So anyways, thank you for watching this video. This is just an update on what I'm doing here with all this stuff now that I uh, Recently learned how to design PCBs. I'm gonna be designing quite a bit of them I guess for every time that I need one of this stuff. So all right. Thank you for watching this video. See you guys on the next one. Bye